10 years ago. 10 years ago I was 14 and now I'm 24. I feel incredibly old and telling my parents this they also feel incredibly old and so as any good artist should and hates doing I went back and looked at my old artwork from when I was 14. 14 my oh it was awful. I was literally just stuck with pencils because we couldn't afford anything else and I didn't know digital art existed and oh it's it's just so bad oh oh it's just I was obsessed with Mew Mew Power in secondary school as well so I can definitely see where this design of a half human half butterfly in anime-ish girl type clothing just oh it's so cringy to look at oh boy but it is a good stepping stone and a good way to show that over the past 10 years I have improved dramatically and so that's what I'm going to show in this video here redesigning this character with the same idea in mind of a butterfly ish creature character of sorts yeah so we're gonna go with that I guess it's kind of a redesign I don't really like drawing people all that much um anymore because there's so much more interesting stuff so I have no idea how this is gonna turn out so wish me luck and I hope you enjoy but I am really curious about something and it's okay I feel like growing up I was the only one obsessed with anime a uh, Mew Mew Power was my first ever anime and I watched it on what was it we couldn't afford proper TV so we had all these free channels it was pop girl that's what it was called it was on pop girl and it was the English dub I should probably start calling it Tokyo Mew Mew and yeah I they only had like 26 episodes dubbed so when I finally got my hands on the internet literally the first thing I did was go to like just any just any site I could and just find out where the other episodes are and I it was very confusing when you know you're that young you know nothing about the world and yeah was anyone else obsessed with that show did anyone want to like become a magical half human half animal hybrid and fight aliens also did anyone have a crush on the aliens I don't think I did as a kid I can't really remember I do know I really liked their pointy ears and the fact that the, uh, what was his name, Dren, or I guess Kishir, could like just make swords magically appear. That was really freaking cool. I liked that. Yeah, so sorry about the ranting, but did anyone else like that show? Let me know. I always felt like I was the only one, except for this one other girl in my class that ended up moving away a week after I met her and found out she existed in my school, which was really sad. And let me know if you have also looked back on your old art and what you're thinking of it because I am just astounded it's really weird looking back on it and I found pictures of myself from 10 years ago too I don't look that different I just don't have a lot of baby fat anymore but I, I still look the same yet I don't it's weird time is a weird construct I, it's weird <laughs>
And here we are, we have the before and after, 10 years apart, showcasing how my illustrative skills and way of thinking when it comes to design has changed and it still boggles my mind 
as I can still remember stuff from when I was 14 like it was yesterday, and yet... I don't know, 10 years is weird. Anyway, hope you enjoyed. Um, I might do more of these because I found a whole load of old sketchbooks and I just really liked the idea of going back to a character that's just so bad, in my opinion, um, and just remaking them into something that I really like. So yeah, I'll probably do that. Um, and yeah, let me know if you've done anything like this. I'd really like to see it. What's the best place to post stuff? Um, you can follow me on Twitter uh, and other social media if you want to share stuff like that. That would be really fun. And now I will bid you adieu.